Hello, hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to Sunday Talk, episode number 157. In today's uh, episode, uh, just like uh, every week, I'm going to go over five uh, immigration questions, and especially I want to process questions I received from some of you guys. I have another powerful quote, uh, just like uh, every week. And also, we're going to go over NVC update of uh, this week, just for some of you guys who miss my uh, Wednesday update, okay? So, guys, um, before I start today's video, if you are new here, my name is John. My goal is to help newcomers, permanent residents, and also U.S. Uh, citizens regarding the uh, I want to process. And sometimes we talk about different topics just to help newcomers here in the United States of America. Uh, I want to wish you guys a happy Sunday. I hope your day is going well. So, guys, uh, let's start with the powerful quote that I have for you today. Today's quote is coming from John C. Maxwell. Here is the quote. Learn to say no to the good so you can say yes to the best. Again, learn to say no to the good so you can say yes to the best. Sometimes we say yes too quickly, but if we say no, there is um, something better you know, we, we can uh, we can see just by saying no for the first opportunity. I think uh, this one also can be translated to, um, you know, how they call it, uh, delay gratification, basically, instead of uh, instant uh, gratification. Sometimes uh, we kind of uh, in hurry and patient, and we say yes to a little opportunity. And then uh, if we can hold ourselves and say no to that little opportunity, we can see bigger opportunity than that. Okay, I think it's a powerful quote. And uh, let me know in the description below what you think. All right. So guys, uh, let's start with the questions. USA Mon. The first question of today's video is coming from Paul Peter. Here's the question. A lawyer asked on some questions on some questions on during my birth certificate legalization, like how many times on my dad have uh, came to Nigeria. I say twice, and during the visa interview, what if uh, they ask me same question uh, the number of times my dad have actually came uh, to Nigeria is uh, four times. I didn't know on time. What if I say four times during the visa interview? Will it affect me? What well, thanks for the question. For this one, uh, this uh, particular question, uh, one thing I have to tell you is to tell the truth if you go to your uh, visa interview. Okay, I always tell you guys, I even made a video this week regarding uh, some of the uh, tips for visa interview. Always tell the truth. Even though you say twice, it's just because you didn't know. You know, again, sometimes when somebody asks you a question you don't know, don't just make up uh, answers, okay? So, to to answer your question, it's going to be four times, just like you say. Just say four times because that's the, the truth. Your dad came to Nigeria four times. So, that's what you're going to say, okay? The second question of today's video is coming from Afric Heat. Here is the question. I'm a permanent resident on only filing uh, for my three children, no spouse. Do I file from I-130 separately or all in one application? Thank you, sir. Well, thanks for the question. Uh, if you are a green card holder, you file an I-130 petition for your children, you have to file separate application for them, okay? Because uh, uh, you are now petitioning for this, uh, for their mom. So in case you are petitioning for the mom, that's when they can be on delivery applicant on the mom's application but in this case you have to file three i want three um application okay all right let's move to question number three this one is coming from yalda nori here is the question do i have to send a letter to my relative or to the u.s consulate if on to the consulate what address or email address on should I send it? Please uh, help me. Thank you. Well, this uh, this is a question uh, that somebody sent uh, under a video I made about how to write um, an invitation letter. Okay, in case you want to invite somebody to come and visit you. 
So the letter you gives you send the letter to the person who will go to the interview, basically the visa applicant. Okay. I remember uh, when I invite my mom to come and visit me here in the United States of America. Uh, I, I wrote one letter for her and another letter for the U.S. consulate. But both letters I gave it to my mom, so she brought those letters to the uh, interview. Okay. So to answer your question, you have to send the letter to the visa applicant. Okay. Let's move to uh, question number four. Here is the question. This question is coming from Dominic Faria. Okay, here's the question. Hello, John. Uh, what's the income does a joint sponsor have to meet on to sponsor two persons? My dad had to get a joint sponsor, but a sponsor is sponsoring another person and um, and I, uh, another person and I, but she makes uh, 26000 uh, a year. Will NVC reject the sponsors because uh, it's already resubmitted on uh, thought? Well, thanks for the question. Usually, um, if the person meet the income requirement, um, which is the 100% of the public guideline, the person should be fine. You know, I don't see the reason why NVC will reject the document. But what you guys have to do is to check the uh, uh, federal public guideline uh, to see because it depends also if the the joint sponsor has a, a different uh, dependent okay it's not just uh, you the application to come to United States of America is the joint sponsor have a kid here in United States of America because they have to count all the dependent you know or uh, anybody who depend on the joint sponsor financially they have to count those uh, people that's that would be the household size okay so now when you check uh, the federal public guideline or website you see which amount uh, is uh, you know let's say the size is on uh, three or two or four whatever so you have to see with a uh, household member size of two what is the minimum uh, income requirement okay then uh, you guys will know if uh, his income will um will be enough or, or not okay so for federal poverty guideline you can just google federal federal poverty guideline 2022 that will bring the website and you can check it out okay and then um the last question is coming from the same person and uh, here's the question Hey John, I have an important question. The request to add the name of the person as a joint sponsor has been approved. What does this mean? Does it mean NVC accept the person doc to be my sponsor or what? That's the update I got. Well, thanks for this question again. Now, usually when you add a joint sponsor, you have to wait. You add a joint sponsor, you have to submit it. You have to wait for NVC to approve it before you can submit additional document or they require from the joint sponsor, okay? So by accepting that, it doesn't mean that that's it. You have to check under the name of the joint sponsor and see if there is a, there are missing documents. So if there are missing documents, you have to upload those documents and submit it to NVC. And then after that, NVC will uh, review everything and uh, let you know if uh, you are document to qualify or not. Okay. When you are document to qualify, that's when you know for sure the joint sponsor uh, income is enough or all the documents you sent uh, about the joint sponsor are accepted. Okay. So guys, uh, like I said at the beginning of this uh, video, we're going to go over NVC update uh, overview just for this week. Uh, some of you guys uh, probably didn't watch my Wednesday update I did about uh, NVC. Well, uh, this week uh, they're saying that they are working on cases they received from USCIS on June 17. Okay, they are working on those cases. Some of you guys will receive a welcome letter soon. And uh, after that, uh, NVC will... Uh, uh, actually, after that, you will uh, send some document and uh, pay fees, and then NVC will uh, review everything. And this week also, they saying that they are reviewing document they received from some of you guys on April 21st. Okay, and uh, once they review everything, they will let you know whether or not you are document to qualify. And last update is regarding emails. And some of you guys uh, who send emails or uh, inquiries to NVC, they are responding to those inquiries you send uh, on May 6th. Uh, make sure you check uh, your inbox uh, to see if you don't miss any email coming from nvc sometimes you have to check your spam folder 
as well so guys um basically that's all i have for you today i hope you learn uh, something from this video or uh, if you know somebody somewhere you think uh, will benefit from uh, this video share with that person if you like the video click on the like button if you want to be notified every time i have a new video just click on the bell if you want to subscribe to this channel click on the subscribe button uh, before i let you go whatever you do today do it peacefully thanks for watching and i talk to you guys in another video USA Monday.